the extreme of I look at one of writer in Stranger Things, and I can't for the life of me understand how she maintained this level of um what's the word neurosis where yeah. she's just always in that state for that many episodes so yeah. for you now having to spend that for three movies what was it like getting to set and knowing that okay i'm going to have to release a lot of amounts of adrenaline in my body when mm-hmm. i'm filming and then what that did to you if that affected you negatively because like if you put yourself in a stressful situation for a long time your body is going to hit you to some degree yep did you experience that as well what was it like with fear street yeah it's, filming fear street was definitely exhausting i'm so so grateful that i don't have sleeping problems because i don't know how i would have been able to do it if i like couldn't fall asleep at night mm-hmm. so for the most part, I just made it like that was my life for we shot all three movies back to back to back. So for that time, I was just I wasn't drinking alcohol, like doing anything like that. I was um, drinking a lot of water. I took my health very seriously. I was eating really healthily. I made sure I got a good sleep every night. And still, it was hard, you know, yeah. so I can't imagine any other way. But um, there were like, there's so many being in that like, kind of like intensity and and it, having to do the jump scares is what got me the most because there's so many even like in the movies like you turn a corner and like oh there's a character you gotta do a jump scare for months after we wrapped Lavelle would like do something and I would like come out of the room and I would get really like jumpy like really scared mm-hmm. really easily and I think that's kind of where it like manifested in my body mm-hmm. I was like oh this is weird you know, yeah, I, I wasn't like that before and now I'm not like that anymore. So it it went away, but I think that's kind of how it showed up for me. 